Hi, boys and girls. We are going to continue lesson three today. So today I need you to take out your math worksheets. The front of the math worksheet will look just like the one I have um, shared on my screen right now. So it says lesson three at the top. And if you found that in your folder, you can go ahead and take that out and put your name at the top. All right, so today we're going to be counting coins and it's going to be like we are at the store and our items are going to have a price tag on them. So we're going to need to decide how much money we need to circle to pay for the object that's written on the left. So here's a review at the top. We have pennies. Pennies are equal to one cent, so we want to count by ones. Nickels. Nickels are equal to five cents, so we count by fives. Dimes are equal to 10 cents, and we'll count by tens. So if we were to buy this orange here for 50 cents, I would need to spend 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or five dimes. Okay, so as we move down here, you will see that we are going to circle the coins we need to buy the object. Okay, so this first one is a balloon. The balloon is going to cost us 60 cents. On this worksheet, they're only giving you the same type of coin. So number one, I see a lot of dimes. Okay, and at the top, if you forget, a dime is worth 10 cents. So I need to count my dimes up to 60 cents, and I'm going to circle them. So I'll start here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I'm going to circle 60 cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 cents is equal to six dimes. So circle that on your page. The next one looks like a newspaper. The newspaper costs 35 cents. When I look to the coins that I have, you can kind of pretend like they're in your hand or on the table in front of you, it is nickels. Okay, so nickels are worth five cents. So when I count, I'm gonna count by fives. So I need to circle 35 cents. So I'm gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 cents. I needed to circle all of them. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 cents. That was seven nickels, 35 cents. Okay, the next one is a pencil. The pencil is worth four cents. Four cent pencil. So let me count our pennies here. Pennies are worth one cent. So I'm just going to count by ones. And one, two, three, four, four cents, four cents. All right, the next one I have in my pile here is milk. For 25 cents. 25 cents. This coin I have here, you can match it up to the coins at the top, but that is a nickel. Nickels are worth five cents, so we're going to count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. Let me count them again. Five, 10, 15, 20, 
25. And you want to circle those 25 cents. And the last one we're going to do is like the coin or like the object at the top, which I think maybe is an orange, but it's only five cents this time. So I am going to circle the coins I need for a five cent item. Oh, look, this is a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. So I only need one nickel and I can buy that item. Okay, now turn over to the back. That was like a warm up, but turn to the back. And now we're going to be doing mixed coins. Okay, so now we're going to go back to like our page in the book yesterday when we have a pile of coins in our hand and we're going to put the coins in order first before we add them. Okay, so how I can do that, excuse me, how I can do that is I'm just going to put a little number one, two, three, four, five until all the coins have been accounted for so that when I'm adding them up, I don't forget any. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go through and think about which coin is which, okay? So I have a dime, just 10 cents, a nickel is five cents, a quarter is 25 cents, a dime, a penny, a dime, a quarter, and a penny. So a lot of different things to add together, okay? So that's why it's important that we don't forget any coins. So I'm gonna go ahead and start numbering them. I remember from yesterday that I always wanna put my quarters first. So I am going to put a little number one in that quarter. And here's my other quarter, so I'm gonna write a number two. Then I'm gonna work on the dimes. This dime is number three, four, and the fifth coin I'll add. I don't see any more dimes, so I'll switch over to my nickel. The nickel will be the sixth coin that I add. Then my pennies, seven and eight. So now when I'm going to add this, I'm going to go in that same order that I just numbered it so I don't forget anything, okay? So quarters are 25 cents, so I see two quarters. So that's 25, 50. The third coin is a dime. So 25, 50, then I go up to 60 cents, counting by tens, 70 cents. 80 cents. There's where my three dimes, 80 cents. Now I'll go to my nickel, 25, 50, 60, 70, 80, plus five more is 85 cents. And now I see two pennies, 86 cents, 87 cents. So in this little box down at the bottom of each of the squares, we are going to write the total, 87 cents. All right, let's go to the second one. I see a penny, quarter, dime, Penny, nickel, nickel, penny. All right, so I remember I'm always going to add my quarters first. They're the biggest and the greatest value. Now my dimes come second. My dimes come second because they have the second highest value. They're worth 10 cents, even though they're the smallest of all the coins. The third coin I'm going to add is the nickel because I don't see any more quarters or dimes. And here's another nickel, so numbers three and four. And then I see some pennies, so I'll add the pennies last. Numbers five, six, 
and seven. All right, so my quarter first. Quarter is 25 cents plus a dime. A dime is 10 cents. So 25 plus 10 is 35 cents plus 5 cents is 40 cents plus 5 more is 45 cents. 46, 47. 48 cents, my three pennies at the end, 48 cents. Okay, let's try the third one together and then I'll give you um, some time to go work on the other six, okay, following the same pattern. All right, so let's try this third one. I see a quarter, dime, nickel, dime, nickel, quarter, penny, penny. Okay, so let's start with our quarters. First quarter and the second quarter. Then I see some dimes, so I'm gonna do my dime third and this dime fourth. Then I've got those four done, so I'll go on to my nickels, which will be fifth and sixth to add together, and my pennies, seventh and eighth. All right, let's add our two quarters together. So when we're adding quarters, we're counting by 25 cents. So that's 25, 50, plus 10 cents is 60 cents, plus 10 more is 70 cents, plus five more is 75 cents, plus five cents, 80 cents and then I have two pennies so that's 81 82 cents twenty five fifty sixty seventy seventy five eighty eighty one eighty two if it helps, there is space at the sides of each of the page um, if it helps you to write down the total. So for example, if it helps to add as you go, I could write the coin values over here for this third one, like the quarter, 25 plus another quarter is 50, plus a dime is 60 cents plus the fourth coin, which is another dime, that's 70 cents, plus a nickel is 75 cents. Now I'm at the sixth coin, another nickel, 80 cents, plus my two pennies, 81 and 82. Okay, so if it helps you to keep track and to write it as you go, for the problems down at the bottom, you can use the little space that's on each side of the worksheet to keep track. But my best advice would be to number the coins first so that you remember which order you're going to add them in. All right, and this is something, this front and back is something I will collect when we're back together. So have fun adding them up. You can pretend like you're getting your coins out of your wallet, or if you have extra coins at home, you can always grab them to be able to count also.